This is not delicious. This is not a delicious fight. I am angry. What the heck is this? You were supposed to be fighting Fabio Woodley. What the heck is this? I don't know who I should be blaming. I think I'm going to blame Ben Shalom. Whatever his name is, Shalom. I don't even know what his name is, but Ben Shalom. I don't know what's going on, but this is not what we need. What, what, what's, you know what? Yeah, I'm sick of boxing. I'm sick of boxers right now, man. I'm sick of boxers taking tune-ups. I've never, I, you don't hear in any combat sport of a fighter taking tune-ups. In the UFC, in MMA, in mixed martial arts, they don't take tune-ups. They get in the ring and they fight what they fight. You might not, you might not trying to get to the top without actually trying to earn it. And then you wonder why, like, you might get, like, all, like, go through mental health and that. You're not trying to work for it. You're not trying to build. You're not trying to work for that. Like, I'm sick of these kind of fights, man. Magus Wack, yeah, has got a hell of a chin. But he's a punching bag. He's not on Fraser Clark's level. This is not a fight we want to see. I'm getting sick of this, man. Man, this is why so many UFC fans just just turned away from boxing. Because of this kind of rubbish. Fraser Clark, like, at least fight Derek Chisora. Like, at least fight a name that we can actually be like, okay, this is, this is an interesting matchup. But no, you're fighting Marius Wack. Now, Marius Wack is... Ah, just, just like, no, not, and he's not, he's not exciting to watch. You know what I mean? Why, why is this fight happening? Because you want to tune your skills for Fabio Wood. Like, like, do you, do you actually realize that in no, in no combat sports, do you hear fighters talking about tune-ups? It's, 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 it's never, it's never happened. Tune-up. Do you know what a tune-up means? A tune-up is basically when a fighter wants to fight someone who's not on their level. So, to prepare them for another fight that will be a lot harder. That's what a tune-up is. A tune-up is, is, is a is a guaranteed win. That's what a tune-up is. And that's that, this is why I don't like this, these kind of fights. Like, they're really going to sell this to you. Like, anyone who buys this, yeah? Yeah, this this is just this is just rubbish, man. This is rubbish to me. Like, you're supposed to be getting in the ring, like, with, with like, you know, the likes of a Fabio Woodley, David Adelaide, like all these kind of all these prospects. I, I I don't like when prospects are fighting like guys who low tier opposition. I want to see prospects fighting prospects. I want to see undefeated fighters fighting undefeated fighters. Like, I want to know out of the crop who's who is the who is the man who is the who is the heavyweight. Like this is why the heavyweight ah man these men are soft. Fraser Clark, this is soft, man. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't even think he beat Solowski. I don't, I don't, I don't think he even beat him like that. To be honest, no one, no one's really beaten that guy. David Adelaide lost to him. I think Fraser Clark lost to him. He didn't really do anything. He didn't really do anything in that fight. Like you talking, you're bragging about beating that guy, but you didn't really beat him. You just, you just, you just did, did the, it did the typical British sticker move and, and didn't do nothing. Like, like, like Joshua Boatsy against that, that no name. I don't know who, he, who he fought. I'm mad. I'm angry. Like this kind of fight is why, like, a misfits boxing is just doing way better than the traditional route of boxing. This is why boxing is not where it's supposed to be, because traditional boxers, boxers who fight, boxers will have like five fights of this on the undercard. When you have five undefeated, you will have five undefeated prospects on one undercard, fighting bums. Like, why don't those prospects fight each other? That's why. That's the problem in Misfits. At least in Misfits, everybody... Listen, at least in Misfits, is exciting. At least in Misfits, they have personality. These guys have no character. Mario Swack has no character. He has no personality. The guy is just... Like, just, just chin, eye and chin. Like, bro, like, come on. Like... Ah, oh, Fraser Clark, man, you're, you're doing, you're doing, you're bad, you're doing, you're bad right now, man. You're doing bad right now. You're in a dark place right now. You're in a dark place right now. Listen, hey, listen. I, I want to know who Fabio Woodley's fighting. If he's fighting another tune-up, I'm gonna be mad. I think if Fabio Woodley can't fight Fraser Clark, I think he should be fighting David, David Adelaide. I think he should be fighting that guy. I don't want to see him with a tune-up. You man don't need tune-up. How many tune-ups do you need? You, you listen. You're, all your tune-ups, all your tune-ups were in the amateurs. Your first five pro fights are your tune-ups. After your first five pro fights, you need to start upping the levels. You, you can't just keep, you know, having a... You, you, like, Tyson Fury about to have a tune-up. And Tyson Fury got about 30 fights in his, in his arsenal. 
He got about thirty fights, and he was, and he's still he's still losing tune ups. Like how? Like Joshua, Anthony Joshua has never, never had a tune up. Anthony Joshua has never had a tune up. Only Jermaine Franklin was his first tune up, and even though he went life and death with him, he went life and death. They just threw Joshua in the in the dragons den to see if he could swim, and he swam. He swam. Come on. Fraser Clark, like, 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 you might, are you mind trying to be bigger than Joshua? Are you mind not trying to be bigger like Joshua? Like, Joshua, at least, like, he upped up the levels all the time. He went from fighting Kevin Johnson to Dylan White to Klitschko. Come on, at least he upped the levels. At least he upped the levels. You might not trying to up the levels. You might not just trying to stay on that. Like, you prospects, like, Fraser Clark, David, Flip Higovich, like, all you man, like, I don't even think David, no, Flip Higovich is not a prospect, but you know what I mean? There's some young bulls. In the heavyweight division, there's some young prospects, undefeated, beating, knocked out everybody, and they're not trying to get in the ring with each other. They're not trying to do that. They're not trying to. They're, they're trying to build up their their resume until they get to 30 and no, and trying to get a world title. Like they're trying to do that 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 rubbish route, that dead route. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it, man. This 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 is trash. This is garbage. And if you pay for this, man, this garbage. This is garbage. I'm I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Fraser Clark went. Fraser Clark did went from five and five to to a downgrade. I'm disappointed. Honestly, honestly, this is trash. I don't care. This is garbage. This is and if you guys buy this, if you if you buy this fight, you, we're just gonna get more like it. You see, what we need to do is we 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 don't have to buy these fights. Let's not buy this fight. This 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 is what boxer. This is the kind of fights that boxer is trying to give us. This this garbage. This garbage. You know Fraser Clark is gonna win this fight. I'm letting you know. You know Fraser Clark is guaranteed like in his sleep he's gonna win this fight. I think to make this a 50-50 fight, I think Fraser Clark needs to have one hand tied behind his back to make this even a intriguing an intriguing fight, a compelling fight to watch. Well listen, listen, like 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 Marius Wack, Listen, that that guy, that guy's got a chin of chin of iron. No one's no one's gonna knock that guy out. But listen, let's be honest, yeah. This is not this ain't, this ain't it. This 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 don't make you this don't make you hungry. This don't make you like water. Like you don't, this don't, this don't make you like think about boxing and think about man being grateful. Like like you know when you get a good fight and you're just like thank you God, thank you for thank you for this good fight. Like I'm very excited to see this fight. Like you know that kind of that that kind of fight that makes you just thank God for a good fight. This ain't it. This ain't this ain't watering. This 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 is not the fight that makes you makes you like turn turn and toss in bed wondering who's gonna win. This this, this ain't the fight. This is a tune up. This this is literally pit a thousand pounds just to get a hundred pound worth a hundred pound a hundred pound back. That that's the, listen. You, you can pit your whole house on on Fraser Clark. He's gonna win this fight. You can pit you can you can pit your life insurance on on, on 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 Fraser Clark. It's a guaranteed win. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You're not gonna win nothing. You're gonna you're gonna win like probably ten pound. It's garbage. It's garbage, man. Honestly, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe. JG out.